hair. It is hands down one of the most important things on our body that can either make us or break us. And now I know not all of us are born with that nice, thick, luscious, and beautiful hair, and certainly not me. And along the way, I've picked up a few ways that I could have made my hair healthier, thicker, and um, get rid of the dandruff that I have. And if you guys are experiencing any unhealthy hair, such as thin, uh, dry scalp, uh, dandruff, or anything like that, stick around because I'm gonna give you a few tips to help you overcome it. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, tip number one, drink a lot of water. Water is really important, as you may know, and this is actually a very obvious tip, but a lot of people avoid it. Um, you should be drinking enough water to the point where your piss is clear. And if you're not, that means you're not drinking enough water. So drink a lot of water, and this really helps not only with your skin and your metabolism and overall body, it also helps with your hair. It makes your hair um, nicer, especially um, makes it a lot softer when you rub your hands through your hair. Um, and if you're drinking enough water, you'll definitely notice a difference. So drink a lot of water because it's not only good for your hair, but your entire body. So do that. All right, tip number two, avoid parabens and sulfate in your shampoo. If you look at the ingredients in your shampoo, if it says anything with like sulfate or parabens, avoid that shampoo because what those things basically are, are pretty much the same thing that goes into your dishwashing uh, liquid. And the goal of it is just to mainly get rid of all the stuff that's in your hair. But the thing is, sulfate and parabens they're really bad for your hair and that's one of the main reasons why uh, dryness itchy scalp uh, dandruff and all those things are caused when you avoid shampoos that contain these type of ingredients um, you'll see a major difference in your hair I've been using this one shampoo It's called um, I, I forgot the name of the shampoo it's actually a very uh, unbranded sort of uh, all-natural type of brand but I'll link it down below it's from Amazon for like 10 bucks and the problem that I was having was I was dealing with a lot of dandruff and it really helped it because it had like jojoba oil and uh, castor oil and tea tree leaves all these things that can definitely help dandruff as well as uh, dry scalp and makes your hair shiny and nice and thick. So I, I highly recommend the shampoo So you guys should definitely go check it out links below speaking of shampoo a lot of people wash their hair too many times in a week I try to wash my hair uh, At max like two to three times a week. Yeah, people who shampoo their hair every day or rinse it It's actually really bad because what you're doing is you're pretty much avoiding all the natural oils and um you're avoiding your hair to build up all those natural things in your natural nutrients in your hair that can help the hair become thicker and nicer and when you're constantly um, using shampoo you're getting rid of all the oils because it because shampoo literally cleans everything out so I would say give it at least a two to three day gap or if you if, if you actually feel disgusted then just do it every other day but just don't do it every day tip number three Avoid using blow dryers. Blow dryers are really bad, mainly because of the heat within them. When you're blow drying, you're putting a lot of heat on your hair, like four, 500 degrees or whatnot. And a lot of people will say, yeah, you can use uh, heat protectants or whatnot, but those don't really work. They only work like 10% of the time on your hair, unless you have like a really good one, which is pretty hard to find. So I would say avoid using hair dryers. And when you get out the shower and your hair is all wet, just pat it down with a towel and let it dry on its own naturally. All right, tip number four. If you wanna have uh, thick hair and hair that is strong, I would say oil your hair at least twice or at least once a week. I do it twice a week, but to begin with, do once a week. Now you guys might be asking, what oil should I be using? And to begin with, I know there's a lot of oils out there that are good for your hair. Um, and you have to kind of be specific to what you want with your hair. For example, for me, I have a lot of thin hair and uh, and my skull, my, my skull gets really dry and all dandruffy. So what I do is I mix castor oil and olive oil um, into one, into one little uh, bowl or whatever, mix it up and I put that in my hair because castor oil, uh, it makes your hair thick and it stimulates hair growth and olive oil gets rid of dandruff. And when you combine those two together, they work their own magic. Um, so do, do some research on what type of issue you're having with your hair and what would be the best oil for that. And based on that, you can make your own mixture or you can go out there on Amazon and find yourself something. So it's a really cheap, inexpensive way 
to you know treat your hair and to make your hair healthy all right fifth and last tip take biotin biotin if you guys don't know what it is it's basically a supplement that you take once a day and it makes your uh, nails and hair very uh, thick and healthy and it promotes a lot of hair growth if you're dealing with like thinning hair or something like that this would be a good way to begin with um, though there are other options out there like Rogaine but overall if you want some natural nice thick hair biotin is the way to go um, I'll put a link in the description below from what type of biotin I use and the thing is you have to be consistent with it if you stop your hair is going to go back into the crap that it was so you have to be really consistent with it and you know it's, it's, it's really good for your hair your nails and probably some other stuff in your body which i'm not familiar with it's mainly for hair and nails it's really good for you and i highly recommend taking it if you're looking to uh, make your hair healthy so that was it guys hope you guys found this video useful if you did make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i'll be making more videos soon so if you guys have any suggestions um for my future videos feel free to leave them in the comments if you guys also have any questions leave them in the comment i'll try to answer them as soon as possible so other than that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video peace